unfortunately, unfortunately, some more blood gang members are behind the bars. It's really like that, though. We're here at an undisclosed location in Brooklyn to get an exclusive look at the hard work of an elite unit of NYPD detectives. They're going after the toughest criminals in New York City. They're young, they're armed, and they don't care where their bullets land. Dozens of NYPD detectives from the Gun Violence Suppression Unit and other specialized units. Here we go, here we go. Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the channel. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe button. Like, subscribe button. Tell a friend, tell a friend. Here we have another crazy story, another crazy story. They said a lot of gang members from New York are going to jail, you know, just like their fathers, you know, some of their uncles, a lot of their friends, a lot of individuals saying the reason why, the reason why. Is because a lot of old individuals, older criminals, older criminals promote being a gangster. Think about that. Being an OG. Think about that. For some strange reason, individuals in poor neighborhoods want to be respected, especially if they went to jail before. Think about that. Think about that. So basically because you committed a crime and you got caught and you went behind the bars, maybe you did 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, 5 years, 30 years, 35, I don't know. That automatically for some individuals make them feel like, you know what, I have street credibility because I was a stupid criminal when I got caught or I just decided to become a criminal in the first place. So they go behind the bars, they come out now, they say, you know what? I'm I'm that guy, I'm that guy. You know, we're gonna keep a PG, we're gonna keep a PG. So these individuals come out, hang around young kids and pollute their minds, pollute their brain. So in return, these young kids you know, they probably heard a few jailhouse stories, but they didn't hear the real deal. They just heard the good part or the made up the made up stories. They didn't hear the real deal. So in return, what these young individuals do, they try to mimic, be like their supposed supposedly OGs, triple OGs, whatever it may be. They tell them, you know what, all you gotta do is go pull a trigger. Do this robbery, do whatever. You know, you're still young. You know, or just make prison seem so enticing. They really do, they really do. So in return, you have young individuals keep on going behind the bars. And until individuals who go behind the bars, you know, Stop wanting respect as a convict on the streets. Think about that. Going to jail to some of these individuals is like getting a, a, a doctor's degree. Oh, I was in jail for 10 years. I did 15 years. Oh, goodness. You know who I am? Yeah, you're a criminal who got caught. You're a dumb bastard. That's really who you are. And you're still that same individual, you're just a little older now. And you have a lot less going for you. So the only thing you can do is tell stories and corrupt little individuals' minds. That's what's really going on in society right now. A lot of these failed individuals want other individuals to feel with them. And it's working. It really is. It really is. So that's what's going on in New York right now. These gang members, these gang members. Where did they learn it from? I'm assuming it's all the criminals. Unbelievable. I'm just talking. That's it. That's it. F Service TV. Tell a friend, tell a friend. Here we go. Here we go. 
gang members in New York. This is how they're living right now. We're here at an undisclosed location in Brooklyn to get an exclusive look at the hard work of an elite unit of NYPD detectives. They're going after the toughest criminals in New York City. They're young, they're armed, and they don't care where their bullets land. Dozens of NYPD detectives from the Gun Violence Suppression Unit and other specialized units came together hours before sunrise to be briefed on the case. Our Fox 5 camera was the only one allowed along on their mission to make streets and playgrounds safe from gunfire by taking down 18 alleged gang members indicted for second-degree murder, conspiracy, weapons possession, and other charges in 12 separate shootings. When you eliminate the shooters, right, when you take the shooters out of the equation, remove the shooters, reduce the shootings. Countless hours by the Gun Violence Suppression Unit went into the investigation that led to the 85-count indictment and arrests of 15 alleged members of the drenched subset of the Nine Trey Bloods, also known as H-Town Billies, and three of their ops, which is slang for opponent. We sit behind the computers, we go out, we collect video, we make gun collars, we do search warrants, we're hidden doors at 06 daily. The investigation dates back to an August 2021 nighttime shootout in a park filled with kids. When the gunfire erupts, the kids converge on the mom with a stroller to protect themselves and each other. There were broad daylight shootings too. In August 2022, they went spinning, a slang term for going out looking for ops and shooting them for no reason. We're about to go out with one of the units right now and they say that these suspects are so dangerous and have so many guns, me and my crew need to put on these bullets proof vests. Gotta wait till 06. One of the teams goes to pick up one of the pre-indicted suspects wearing tactical gear and carrying special equipment. You can see that the detectives here are posted up outside this apartment complex. That's to watch for any kind of activity in any of the windows. For the first time, two women detectives are leading the operation. We go to another location where suspect Dimitri Jean-Jacques, who's facing more than two dozen charges, is taken to the 77th precinct to be booked. I'd say the thing that sticks out in this investigation is the two homicides of 16-year-old kids that were committed by this gang. Well, I was born in the borough of Brooklyn, uh, not too far from where we stand here today. I have family that lives here. Um, there's a pro profound impact on the community when you see uh, the worst of the worst being apprehended and placed in jail. There's a lot less people getting hit by bullets because of these cases. More alleged gang members are brought into the precinct. Mayor Adams issued a statement saying, New York City will not tolerate the reckless endangerment of those who choose a path of violence and chaos. Today's action underscores our unwavering commitment to stopping and holding accountable those who threaten our communities. And we're here today to send a strong message that shooting guns in our streets cannot and will never be tolerated. Of course, those arrested are presumed innocent until proven guilty. The dedicated detectives here at the Gun Violence Suppression Division say they will continue to investigate these cases in order to bring peace and safety to the community, no matter how long it takes. In an undisclosed location in Brooklyn, I'm Lisa Evers, Fox 5 News. They said, they said that's the life of a gang member. I mean, when will it end? These old individuals, maybe they need to stop trying to be the old G's and just try to maybe accept themselves as failures. Because in reality, that's what they're really, you know, it's not getting to all that. Here we go, here we go.